Hey guys, welcome to screencast number 23 and in this screencast I am going to be showing you how to install Windows 10 on a MacBook Pro using Bootcamp. So for that we need to head on to Microsoft's website and download a ISO file for Windows 10. So just search on Google for Windows 10 ISO and you'll be directed to a website where you can easily download the Windows 10 ISO file. So select the edition, you can select uh, between two updates as of the recording date, I have the 10th October 2018 update and the 10th April 2018 update. Obviously, I'll choose the latest one and I can press confirm. After pressing confirm, I'll be asked to choose a language and I think I uh, speak English pretty well so English international it is uh, so confirm and once you're done uh, you'll be provided with two ISO file downloads one is the 32 bit and one is the 64 bit so I'll go with the 64 bit since uh, MacBooks uh, boast a 64 bit processor so I click on the 64 bit download and I can save this file into the downloads folder uh, so i have already downloaded and placed the windows 10 english edition on my downloads folder uh, now that i have it downloaded i can just go ahead and uh, start to install the windows 10 on my macbook so the next thing you need to do in order to start the installation process is you need to actually copy the ISO files into a USB drive. Now, if you're using a new MacBook, you don't need to go through this step because new MacBooks directly installs from the ISO and it doesn't need a USB drive. But if you are on an older Mac, you need external USB media to, in order to copy the Windows files into the media. So I'll just insert this into my Mac and once it is detected, I will open up a terminal and start by typing the command disk util list. So this will give me all list of all the uh, drives that are mounted on my system. Now we are dealing with this particular disk uh, that is named Upamanu and I will just remember the identifier for the disk uh, that is disk 3 now this is a partition and you don't need to remember this you just need to remember the every disk partition scheme identifier name so that is disk 3 for me it can be disk 2 disk 1 for uh, depending upon your system now the next command we need to go through is disk util and next we need to format this particular drive so erase disk Next, we need to specify the format in which we want this disk to be formatted. That would be XFAT and we need to name this drive something. So I will name it Windows 10. If you're in installing Windows 8 or 8.1, you can name it accordingly or you can name anything that you seem fit. Now, next, we will set it to MBR partition records and I'll specify the disk as disk 3. So I will just execute this command and it would unmount the disk and start erasing the disk that is there on disk 3. Now that we are done with formatting to the required format, I will just go ahead and copy the ISO files into my pen drive. So for that, I will just go ahead into downloads and mount the ISO file as a disk. And once it's done, I can close this out. Now I will use the copy command. So copy recursively i'll put the flag recursive flag and i will head on to volumes then cc coma this particular drive so that contains our windows 10 installation media and i will say that all files need to be con uh, copied so i will put an asterisk there so then i'll copy uh, i'll put the location so volumes windows 10 so once i have done that i can just go ahead and press enter now once you've executed this command this terminal will just freeze for a moment as if it is unfazed by your command but fear not things are happening in the background now this might take a few minutes of time but this will complete and once it completes it will display your username and that means it has copied all the files so while this completes i'll just pause this video and i'll be back when this is done 
So as you can see, this command has executed and my username is again displayed. So that means this command has executed and I can go ahead and follow on to the next steps. So I can just go ahead and open this disk and you can see all the required files have been copied into the disk. Now I don't need this disk anymore. I will also quit terminal. Now I can be back to bootcamp persistent. Now here, this disk, uh, uh, the ISO file that I had mounted, this is also not required right now. So I'll just go ahead and eject that as well. Now I can go ahead and click on continue right now. Now here you need to make sure that you have create a Windows 10 or later disk disabled because you don't need that this is for the people who are willing to create the windows 10 media using bootcamp assistant now we have already done that and we don't need to check this box now download the latest windows support software from apple this box needs to be checked because this is what the files that would be used actually to run windows 10 on a macbook so i can click continue and next i will be asked to select the destination disk where the files would be downloaded and I can select the SanDisk Ultra Media which is the Windows 10 bootable disk. Now I can select that media and click on continue. Now this will download some files and then install it into the bootcamp partition which will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. So I will pause the video again and be back when this completes. So once the support files are downloaded, you will be uh, asked to enter your password. So you can go ahead and enter that. I will enter my password. Now you will be asked to create a partition for Windows. Now, depending upon your usage of Windows, you can select variable partitions. You can just allow all of it to Windows or you can keep something for Mac and you can also divide everything equally. Now, what I will do here, I personally will do here, is I will give my Windows 40 GB of space, which will leave my Mac with 37 GB of space. So, now that seems pretty fair to me. <clears throat> so, total Mac has 81 GB of space and my Windows has 40 GB of space. Now, if you plan to use your Windows for gaming and purposes such as that you need to give more space to windows but for my purpose 40 gb would be enough now i will go ahead and click install finally and that would start the disk partitioning now this is again a process that will take some time and i will be back once this process is complete now it asks for my password again so i will enter the password again uh, and then my mac will restart now once it restarts it will boot into the windows setup now as you can see the windows logo has appeared and this will boot into my windows setup now once the windows logo has appeared that means the partitioning has been a success and you can expect the windows setup to show up anytime soon. Now the set setup is starting now and this setup should not be any different from the setup that you used to uh, installing on your windows computers if you have any. So language to install English United States, uh, language time and currency format. I can choose other English versions as well. So I am currently in India, so I will choose English India. And language to install, let it remain English United States. I will go into next and here you need to enter your product key if you have one. So I will not enter any product key, though I have one because some of you guys might not have a product key. So that's evident with Mac users that they don't have a product key. So I will not enter my product key right now. You can just enter this later and run Windows in evaluation mode for quite a long time. So I will click I don't have a product key and then I am asked to select the version of the operating system that I want to install. So these N versions are for Europe and KN versions for Korea. So I will select Windows 10 Pro and just click on next.
So here I will be asked to accept the terms. I will accept the terms and then I am directed to select a partition. So I will select this partition where there is the 37.4 GB that I allotted. Not all 40 GB would be allotted, that is for sure. And this partition would be labeled bootcamp. So make sure you select the partition which is labeled bootcamp. I can go ahead and format that partition. So it again gives me a warning that if this partition contains any of your important files, this would be deleted. So I will click OK. Uh, next, I will go ahead and click Next, and this will start the Windows installation process. So this will start copying the files uh, and getting the Windows installation ready. This will again take some time. So let me speed up the video. Now that the installation has finished up, now the computer will restart again and it will boot into Windows. So you can see the boot time is really fast and uh, once it boots into Windows, it'll set some things up as is with any Windows installation. If you have installed Windows before in your PC or if you have owned a PC before, you will know this. Uh, this is the general process that every in Windows installation grow goes through. And once this is done, it will get the devices ready and everything else ready. And uh, once that is done, uh, we can go ahead and boot into Windows. So that will take another few moments of our time. So we will wait for the things to get ready. So now the just a moment screen has arrived. So uh, the Windows installation is almost complete. So now Windows is setting a few more things up so it will start with the region so I will select India since I am in India right now so I have selected India uh, the keyboard layout I will select as US so US keyboard layout is the keyboard layout that we use I do not want to add any kind of second keyboard layout uh, now let's connect to a network let's skip for now uh okay now i am going to name this pc i am going to say upama news upama new pc just like that uh upama new pc and i will click on next uh now let's create a password so once that is done i can click on next and i will confirm the password again and click on next so i need to select a few security questions i will just do that and we'll be back so we are done with these security questions now i can set up cortana so i will accept it for now and so this device history is something i don't need right now and this is something the uh, privacy settings that i can choose so i can uh, turn everything off turn everything on I will turn everything off for now and that is what I recommend to you. So I have turned everything off for now and accept. And the high screen has appeared. That means uh, everything will be personalized in a moment and we will be able to boot into the Windows screen. So this again will take several minutes as it says on the screen. Uh, so I'll just pause the video here and we'll be back once this is done. So this is done. Now I am on the Windows 10 desktop. Now once I am on the desktop, I will be greeted with this particular bootcamp setup. So you need to install this in order for everything to work properly on the Windows 10 install on your Mac. So I will just click next. I will accept the terms and click install. Again, this will take some time uh, and uh, I'll just speed things up for you. So you don't have to wait watching my video. So this bootcamp uh, installer has finished. So I'll just click on finish uh, and uh, I need to uh, restart the computer. So I will just go ahead and restart my Mac once again. Uh, and in order to apply those bootcamp settings that are there. So once that is done, I think most of our uh, work will be done now. Uh, 
after this is done, I will also suggest you that you just check for any kind of uh, updates that are there and you can just go ahead and log in into the PC. Okay, so I am being logged into my Windows 10 installation on my MacBook Pro. How cool is that? I can use the function keys so I can increase the brightness. I can decrease the brightness. Everything is there. I can increase the volume. I can decrease the volume. Everything works as it should work. So that means the Windows installation has been successful. Now, I would recommend you go into Apple software updates and update any required software. So uh, the internet connection, it says, could not be found. So I will go ahead and connect to my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So once that is connected, I can go into the Apple software update section and it will check for some software updates. So as you can see, uh, it does have some software updates available for me, Apple input device update and Wi-Fi update. So I need to install these. I would recommend you install these as well. And that would take some time, but not a very long time. So it says uh, to finish installing the software, you need to restart uh, your computer. So I will do that. So you would know if you have installed Windows on your PC before that the Windows installation involves a lot of restarts and Windows restarts the computer. Uh, I, I mean, you have to check uh, to install the computer manually every time you install something new or you do something new on your PC. So I will again enter my password and log in into my PC. So I think one more software update is pending so I can go into the Apple software update again and just check whether any software updates are pending or not. I think the 14 MB one is pending. That is the Wi-Fi update. So I would go ahead and uh, install that update as well. So I recommend you do the same because these updates are important in order for proper functioning of Windows on your MacBook. So Windows again says I need to restart the computer. Now, uh, everything is installed and the Wi-Fi is connected. Everything else has been installed. So I don't need this pen drive anymore. So I, I can eject this and I will eject this from the system. Now, the next question you might want to ask is how to shift from this Windows installation to my Mac installation. So as you could see that by default the macbook is booting into the windows installation so what is the way that i can actually boot reboot into my mac now you just need to go into start and click on shutdown so it would completely shut down your computer so next when you press the power button after you hear the chime you just need to press the alt button and once you do that you would be able to select between windows and macintosh hd so if you boot into macintosh hd you will be directed to your os 10 install and if you choose windows you will be directed to your windows 10 install so i'll select windows and i will be directed to my windows 10 install so with that, we come to an end of this screencast. Hope you have enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did enjoy it, do press the thumbs up button. If you did not, you can always go ahead and press the thumbs down button. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more screencasts like this. This is Upamanyu signing off. Thank you.